Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janae Nichols, in case you're new. So in this clip, I'm just preparing my hair for a sew-in. I did have to come wash and blow dry. So as you guys can see, I'm just blow drying my hair with my Silver Bird, my Olivia Garden brush, and I did use my heat protectant. I'll link it down below. And right here, I'm gonna dye my bundles. So I'm using two in by Wella, and I did end up using, I think I used two bottles, and I did have three bundles. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm pretty sure that I used five developer jason saying hello and i'm basically just pouring it onto the hair in a trash bag and just mushing it around and get the dye everywhere all right guys so my hair is done sorry if i look super oily it's been a long day i've been up ever since 6 a.m it is now like what 5 30 almost 5 30 but i got my hair done i got a sewing with leave out now listen this is not originally how it looked before it looked it was 22 inches it was super long and it was like stringy like it wasn't full at all so i asked the girl that did my hair i was like can you cut it into layers but she used a razor and i think she just used it a little too much so like the top part was full but like the bottom was very thin so i had went to the mall after that and like the whole time in the mall like you know how they got mirrors everywhere in the stores i was legit like looking at myself i was like i don't know like it just looks so thin so i came home put so I came home, put in another bundle, and then I just cut it and cut my own layers into it. Like, I don't know, it's hard to, it's not hard to explain, but like the way I cut hair is I use my shears. I don't use a razor because I feel like with the shears, you get like a blunt cut. And if it's too blunt, you can always go in and point cut and that'll like soften it up. So that's what I did. I just cut it bluntly and then I cut layers into it and point cut it and it's full, well, fuller than it was. Um, and it's the way I want it. So. Um, overall she did do a good job I just wish she wasn't like so heavy-handed with it uh, with the razor because I don't like having to come home and fix my hair after I get it done and it was kind of expensive and I feel like she didn't use all the hair but um anyways my hair is done so yeah but we are supposed to be going to the pool today but it is calling for rain Supposed to be going to the pool around six. That's when we told everyone to come over. We still ain't got no hot dogs, no hamburgers, no nothing because we're still trying to figure out should we even do this if it's gonna rain? But like looking outside, it looks nice, sunny, clear sky. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, London just ate, and I guess we're about to go to Food Line and get some stuff. And yeah, also guys, our couch came in. So I was gonna do a empty house tour, but I recorded it. I never uploaded it because my hand was just so shaky. But um, in a video, but in a video, I was saying that we didn't have our couch in, but literally like the next week it came in. So this is our couch. We got this from Haverty's. And I'm so excited because our dining room table or kitchen table, whatever you want to call it, it comes in, it comes in on Saturday. So can't wait for that. Yeah, I'm about to go see what Jason is doing, and we're going to head out. I need to put you guys on a charger, because I don't want this camera dying on me. Like, right now, I only have one bar, so I'll probably put on a charger. So I'll probably put it on a charger when we go to Food Line, and then I'll check back. We'll probably eat half of that, maybe the whole thing, but I'll start with half. Do I have to break it, or can you bite it? You can bite it. London. London. Say hi. Hi. Sid, you want to say hi to my vlog? Hi. This is Sid, my friend. She brought her son. Can you be on the camera? Yeah. Okay. And she brought her son, Carter. He's not looking. Carter. He's busy eating his sandwich. He's not worried about us. <laughs> hey, London. Say hi. Hey, girl. She's very um, unbothered. Right. As you guys can see. Yeah, hey, you tell him I was here, huh? Mm -hmm. I was about to. No, you were not. <laughs> and look who yeah, else. Close the camera. <laughs> look who else we have. She's doing me dirty today. Look who else we have, guys. We have Jason. Say hello. I had to tell her to introduce me on her camera. <laughs> I was going to. Y'all should lose respect for her. Whatever. yesterday and I went to Ulta today so I'm going to show you guys what I got 
So um, I got these pattern products. So I use this brand on London's hair. I got the Stronghold Gel and a Styling Cream. And I got the minis because I don't use a lot of it. So I got the Huda Beauty and the Lancome Foundation. So basically what had happened was I lost my Kat Von D foundation. I don't know what color I was in there. So I was trying to get matched for it. And basically there was like no match for me. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try some new foundation. Actually, I've tried the Lancome one before. Um, I don't think it was my color. Was it my color? I'm not sure, but I remember liking it. On the Huda Beauty one, I bought this, but it wasn't my color. It was too light. So I never really got to try this one. So the woman had asked me why do I like Kat Von D foundation so much and I was like because it doesn't get oily on me and basically it stays on all day. She was like you should definitely try the Huda Beauty so I'm going to be wearing this one tonight. Hopefully I like it y'all. I really I'd be like scared to try new foundations because like when I try I'm actually going somewhere and if it doesn't work out I'm just looking crazy but I feel like it should be okay. Um, Then I got this NC42. Um, that's the color but I got the studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer from Mac so you guys know that I usually use the Mac studio finish concealer for my eyebrows but they didn't have my color so I was like let me just try this one and then I got two Jaclyn liquid lipsticks and then two lip liners um I got the colors I'm a cancer absolutely what is that praline praline and toasty so i'm gonna try a combination of that also i got the huda beauty lash glue she recommended this and i also got the goof proof brow pencil from benefit um i've had this before and i really liked it and then i got two pair of lashes i got Mykonos in rome so that's all the new makeup that i got i'm gonna jump in and just start doing my face because it is 521. I'm supposed to be done by um supposed to be done by six. Twenty brought me many realizations. Twenty taught me never be complacent. I've got 20 years and I'm still changing I've lived 20 lives and needed saving So I got all these layers stacking up like Tetris The depths of who I am cannot be seen in metrics More than meets the eye or meets imagination Yeah Cause I'm all... Alright y'all, so my camera died but I am dressed, my hair is curled yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this little jumpsuit thing from Fashion Nova. And these are my shoes. I just got these today from Macy's. Really cute. So, yeah. I'm about to go eat. And, y'all, my mirror is dirty. Everything is just a mess. So, yeah, excuse the dirty mirror. But I just wanted to show you guys how I looked. I actually do like my makeup. I think it came out really good. But yeah, I'm about to hurry up and leave because they're already there and I'm like 15 minutes away, so that's not too bad. But yeah, I'm gonna um, just show you guys what I get and all that. Only thing I don't like about this jumper is this. These are so loud. Like when you walk, they are super, super loud. So, so yeah, overall, I do like my look and I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Brought me many realizations. 